This is a simple desktop application for time tracking, built with a unique technology stack. It uses HTML and Vue.js for the UI and C-Sharp for the business logic. Not only does it look like a native desktop app, but it also allows full window customization just like one. This is the size of the application package. And here's the startup time of the application. Curious how this works? Let me show you step by step how you can build an application like this using a simple example. The sample application we will build in this tutorial is a simple snippet database that lets you store small pieces of knowledge or source code which you can later retrieve through a search. The framework enabling such applications is called Tauri. Tauri is a lightweight framework for building fast, secure and cross-platform desktop applications using your favorite web technology stack with a Rust backend. To enable .NET and c -sharp as the backend, we only need to add two small packages. We start by creating a standard Tauri application by running npm create Tauri app and then simply follow the steps to set up the project using our preferred web technology stack. I'll go with Vue.js here. When you reach the section to choose the frontend language, don't get confused with the .NET option. This is for setting up Blazor for the frontend while still using Rust on the backend, which isn't what we are looking for. Opening the template project, we see the usual web project structure with the source folder for the frontend code and an additional source Tauri folder containing the Rust backend. The template includes a small sample application, but before running it, we need to install all required packages. Once that's done, we can start it by running npm run Tauri dev. The first run takes a bit longer as it installs all necessary Rust packages. Now we are ready to design the frontend. We will begin by clearing out the sample application content and adding our UI elements step by step, keeping it as simple as possible. We start by adding an application container and add a toolbar containing a search box and new and save buttons. Then we set up a placeholder for search results and add a text area to display the snippet content. Next we create a basic skeleton for the component's behavior. We define a view component and add variables for the search text, snippet text and search results. Then we add event handlers for the search box and buttons and export all variables that are used by the HTML template. To wrap it up, we apply some basic styling so our UI looks decent. At this point, the application is ready to run and we can see how it looks. With the frontend ready, it's time to set up the C-Sharp backend. First we create a new folder called source.net and use the .NET CLI to create a new class library. We configure it to build into the Tauri target folder. Then we add the Tauri.NET bridge package as the first part of the c -sharp integration with the Rust backend. It translates requests from Rust and uses Microsoft dependency injection package to resolve and instantiate our API controllers. The second part of the integration is the Tauri.NET bridge host Rust package, which we add to the cargo configuration. Once that's done, we register a Tauri command handler dedicated to requests going to the c -sharp backend. We finish by integrating the c -sharp project into the build process. This initial setup was quite a bit of work, but it's only required once. After that, the Tauri.NET bridge is fully integrated. Now we are ready to add our backend APIs, which we will keep as simple as possible for this tutorial as well. First we create a snippets controller, where the constructor ensures that the folder for saving snippets exists. We then add a save API to store snippets, which requires a data structure containing an ID and the snippet text. For the second API, the search API, we add two more data structures, a search request and a search result. The implementation of the search API simply scans through all files and returns the first matching line and the respective snippet. Finally, we need to provide a class that implements the iPlugin interface from the Tauri.NET bridge package to register our controller with the Tauri.NET bridge. With the backend complete, we can now integrate it into the frontend. Therefore, we create a small TypeScript class to invoke the Tauri command handler and to handle the JSON serialization and deserialization. We import this class in our frontend component and also define TypeScript interfaces matching the backend data structures. We also have to adapt the binding of the search result items to the search result interface. Then we implement the onSearch input handler by invoking the backend and assigning the results to the search results variable. When implementing the onSafe handler in a similar way, we realize that we need one more variable for storing the snippet ID. Finally, we implement the onCreateNew and onSearchResultSelected handlers and replace the type placeholders with our new TypeScript interfaces. Now we have a fully functional Tauri application with our favorite web technology stack for the UI and a C-Shop backend, all set up in a few easy steps.
To distribute the application, simply run npm tau rebuild. You can then share the installer or copy the application binary along with the .NET folder. Using this approach, we can now develop modern desktop applications using our favorite web technology stack with .NET and C Sharp as the backend. Do you think this could be the future of desktop development in .NET?